It was tough uh, anytime we lose, not being able to contribute, but I had the right people in my ear on the staff. That they knew that I was going to be able to come back and just want to make sure I came back the right way and it could really help them when it mattered. How's your cardio? You had to go up and down. Cardio feels good. Uh, it's not peak, but it definitely feels good. I feel like if I play more games, I'll start to get it. But I did such a great job. I feel like while I was out doing things that could keep my cardio up, I'll well, take the pressure off my knees. So I did that as much as I could. And I feel like it paid off. What sort of things did you do to try to keep the car? A lot of biking, uh, a lot of water, underwater treadmill that we have at the facility. So those are just two things that I try to stay on it, stay on it, do that, rehab, do that. So just anything that I could, because I knew it's tough to take three weeks off this time of the season. Everyone else is in great shape, they're playing and all that. So I had to do everything I could to kind of maintain the cardio. Did you calculate how many miles you did on the bike? No, <laughs> I wish I, I wish I would have. I wish I would have. It would have been a, a big number. How's it? Yeah. How's the knee feeling now? The underwater treadmill than being on land. How much harder is the underwater treadmill? It's tough in its own way. Um, you're not on your joints as much, but your body's still working, resisting a current, and your legs are moving fast. So you're getting all the, the cardiovascular stuff without your legs getting burnt out, which is exactly what I needed. How's the knee now? Feels good. Feels good, y'all. Ice it down, get some rest tonight, and kind of see how it feels in the morning. Did you see the injury itself in replay of Kelvin falling into the lane? How, how did it look to you? I mean, I've seen people tear ACLs on things like that. It was tough. I mean, I'm fortunate, uh, very blessed uh, in this game. It's kind of how it is. It's part of the game, so I know that. That's, that's what we all signed up for. So. Kind of just fall back on taking care of your body, doing your training. So I feel like I do everything right to, to keep myself and my body in the right position. So it was an unfortunate fall, but at the end of the day, uh, it worked out so I was able to still play and still play off the season. So just very fortunate. The upside to you being out, it looks like Jay and Nick improved. What have you noticed changing them? Yeah, it's a big change in confidence. Right? I feel like they're able to get some minutes and, and put into roles where you get uncomfortable and you kind of got to fight through it because we didn't have them, especially in foul trouble. They had to play through it where sometimes we'll have rotations where you're in foul trouble, you're struggling, maybe some other guys can play. So it was really good for them to fight through those battles. I really feel like they came out another man more confident, uh, more aggressive. So you can see now, like, they're making some moves. Nick has some, some great finishes tonight. EJ, too, talking more on defense. I just feel like that time really helped them come. Look at that.